Minister of Foreign Affairs for Somalia, Isa Kade, has reaffirmed the government's unilateral decision without conditions, underscoring that it's the right time for full ceasefire and believes that this is the opportunity for dialogue for the good of Somalia and its people. The minister said in an exclusive talk to CPS, Somalilanders have always found ways to resolve issues peacefully through dialogue and claimed that is why Bihi's administration is committed to the ceasefire process so that they can reach a lasting solution to the present situation in the region. For 10, 2023, the Somaliland government called for a ceasefire with no condition. And I believe that this is our opportunity for dialogue to restart for the good of our people and of our country. Somalilanders have always found ways to resolve issues without resorting to violence. And it's in our tradition, our culture, and our religion. That's why it's so important we all stay committed to the process so that we can reach a suitable resolution for both sides. I believe Somalilanders are resilient and can persevere against even the greats of adversaries. I also know no nation is immune to challenges and it's part of the growing pain. But it's up to us to write Somaliland's history, its path, and its future. All of this begins with you, my fellow Somalilanders. I ask you, I ask that you be patient with each other, respect each other's difference, and most of all, support a peaceful resolution to the challenge we are currently facing. We can only make this happen if we unite for our country. Thank you. Issa Kade emphasized that it is up to Somaliland people to write Somaliland's history, its path and its future and asked to be respected for the peaceful solution towards the strange situation in Las Ano, the eastern Somaliland. The minister accentuated that all the peaceful process can only make happen if his people unite for the good of their country. The armed conflict between Somaliland National Army and the local militia has entered the second week that resulted in deaths and injuries of many people. On several occasions, the Somaliland government clarified its readiness to solve the status quo in a peaceful manner. Hanan Abdurrahman, CBA.